Hi everyone. Hi Vogue. Welcome to my house. That's my sister Tanisha. And uh, thank you for uh, letting me do this tutorial on my mother's uh, look. Basically recreating my mother's look. Also, of course, I am Parno Mitra and uh, I am a Bengali actor and um, I live in Calcutta. That sums it up for me. Uh, so I am recreating my mother's look. This is one of her sarees. It's not the typical white and red border saree that they show in movies. Um, we also wear different kinds of sarees. This is a this is one of my favorites, and this is a tangail with jamdani work all over it. As you can see, it's all hand made. You know, it's not like machine stitch. It's a uh, hand stitch. It's beautiful. This is the see the back. Of it. This is the back. Um, I've stolen this from my mother's wardrobe, and she doesn't know about it. I wish my mother could be on the video today, but she's unwell. And Tanisha here is going to help me drape the saree because it's a cotton saree. It's a little difficult to uh, drape without uh, an assistance. And she always decides the final look. I always need her approval when it comes to clothes. And my stylists are always frustrated. So, guys, let's get started. This is an embarrassing picture, but uh, where I look like I choked on a peanut. But if you can see, you know, I was I think 16 years old. This is my first ever sari wearing experience, and uh, there it goes. It's a pure crepe with a high neck blouse, sleeveless, and silver jewelry. Yay! I think I look pretty cool. Uh, not the face. But yeah, let's get started with the tea. Let's start the tree thing. <sighs> Okay, so we need to figure out which is the ulta side and the seeda side. This, there's a fall here from, for what I don't know, I still don't understand the reason for fall. But yeah, that basically helps me figure out which side is, you know, which side should be up and which side should be down. So, I wear my petticoat. Um, below my navel because I find it comfortable. Also a tip that my mother told me that it makes your body look better. And uh, yeah, you go all the round, all the way around. Make sure you start the back because uh, when you don't, it tends to fall down and you might trip and fall. Not a, not a nice thing. Then you keep the palla. I did learn how to wear a sari from my mother. I learned it on the job because of my films. And uh, you don't want your color too short, so I, I like it a little longer. So in case I want to like fold it, I can. And you take this end. Always put a take a big pin and always put a piece of paper so that uh, this this end of the pin doesn't get stuck inside your sari, which generally leaves a hole and it's not nice if it's an expensive sari. So pin it here along with your petticoat so it's stuck, it doesn't move. Take this end, put it here, and now comes this stuff most difficult part the pleating so you take this and go like this hold it with the other finger I don't know if you guys can see this yeah there you go wear your pleats on the right side of your navel please do not put it in the middle it looks really bad You could use an iron to like straighten the pleats. I do that sometimes, that's my tip. And wear your heels before you wear your sari because uh, that way you know, you know the length and your sari is not above your heels which is not very flattering. And the extra that is here, you pull it out and you touch it at the back. 
right? And just in case you feel this part of the just in case you feel this part of the sari is really too tight. Remember we tucked in a little bit of sari inside. Here. Just pull that. Pull that and make it tighter. So this looks slimmer. So you pull it and make it tighter. So that's it. And then some people like to pin their saris, some people don't. I am. I like to be, uh, pin my saris because I can't. Uh, I don't have control over my. I can't think about it so much. Also, don't pin it over right over your shoulder because it leaves a dent and doesn't look nice. Always make sure it's one inch below your shoulders. If it's too low, then your sari comes up from your shoulders again. So you want it right here. All taught by my mother. I love how the sari looks and okay we're gonna accessorize a little bit I'm already wearing a black small bindi which I've made with like an eyeliner pot if you have bindi please wear normal bindi um, my mom would have worn a big bindi but I have a small forehead so I wear a small one and because uh, she would wear an aviator but I don't look nice in aviators either so I'm gonna go with my there and a bag and that completes your brunch look if you want you could like make a bun and put two white put a white gajra or uh, for an evening look yeah yeah see that big spot and um, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial I hope uh, you liked it you could recreate this look after the lockdown <laughs> so um, if you do please let us know how you like the video and thank you once again Vogue for letting me do this this would be her this would be my mother's uh, you know typical look signature, signature style this is a signature look and um, stay tuned and watch out for more videos on on the page and uh, love you all stay home and stay safe and stay stylish bye